Hello Internet, it's Arthur from Calvin the Triangle making a video response to um, the Young Turks Man Gets Pregnant, I believe is the name of the video. If not, you can see it says Re and then the title. So, um, it's December 23rd, 2009. And first off, let me uh, say what the video I'm responding to is about in case you don't feel like watching it. Um, it was about the man that got pregnant female to male transgender. He was either pre-op or just choosing totally not to get bottom surgery. I don't know. Not really my business. And he and his wife decided to have a baby, so they got a donor and chose for him to carry it instead of her. I did a little research and found out that this was because his wife had had a hysterectomy and wasn't able to have kids. So if they wanted a baby that was genetically uh, at least one of theirs, it would have to be him that would carry it. That isn't what the video is about. The video is about um, ignorance in media. Um, wow. You know, you would really think that this story would be a chance for these two news people to learn a little bit about transgenders. Um, and I think the guy did. Um, there's a male news reporter and a female one. And they're just kind of, I think they're just kind of internet news reporters. Um, and the guy was just kind of not exactly using uh, terminology generally associated with transgenders, but he definitely wasn't being offensive or disrespectful at all towards uh, transgenders. Or, uh, the word I'm looking for is um, belittling, basically. Like, saying that it's nothing. Um, what I'm here to talk about is uh, a couple of my responses to the female reporter, who I'm sure is a very well-rounded, educated person, and what I have to stop getting angry and understand that a lot of people just aren't exposed to this issues, these issues, they don't know, um, it's not really something that you encounter in your everyday life, so sometimes you don't understand entirely, but I think if you're making a news report, you kind of should know what you're talking about, so... Without further ado, um, the first one that I have issue with is at 150 in the video, if you're going to go see it, is her comment that technically he's still a woman, which is something that people say sometimes, technically. Technically? Um, what do you mean? Do you mean in his heart he's still a woman? Because I can swear to you, he isn't and he never was. Um, nor will he ever be, no matter what anybody says about him. Um, technically? Like, physically? Because physically, he's not a woman. Uh, physically, he's got uh, the male testosterone uh, therapy. He's got top surgery, so he's like me. Physically, he's like half and half, I guess, depending on. And that's really none of your business either. Um, the proper politically correct, and I know, I know political correctness, let's just root and let's be cool and let's be rebellious, but it's honestly, it's there to, so that you don't offend certain people and make yourself sound ignorant, um, is genetically. That's, that's all you mean by that. Genetically, he's female. Well, yes, that's exactly true. And, uh, you could say physically, he still has the female genitalia, but it's not cool to say technically he's still a woman. You, you just, you can't say that because it's not true. Being a man or being a woman isn't about what genitalia you have. It's about how you see yourself, how other people see you. It's about your role in society. It's about your personality. It's about a lot of things. Uh, secondly, at 158, just right then in the row, uh, her comment that this story was no big deal because it would be like me cutting my hair, growing my armpits out, getting pregnant, and saying, Hey, I'm a man. Um, no, it wouldn't. It would be like you going through years of self-hatred, confusion, finally a little bit of self-acceptance, doctor's appointment, testosterone therapy, discrimination, legal battles, more discrimination, some surgeries. He had top surgery. Uh, awkward dating awkward roles in society, more discrimination, uh, finally finding a woman to love you for the man you are, getting married, deciding to have kids, be it, realizing that you're the only one in the family that can get pregnant, then getting pregnant. That's what that would be like.
basically what she's saying is that being a transgender is about cutting your hair, or I suppose in the opposite way, growing your hair out, and shaving, or lack thereof. Which is totally ridiculous. You don't just overnight cut your hair, stop shaving, and say, hey, I'm a man. No, it's a lifelong process of confusion and eventually self-acceptance, and I feel like she just, by saying that, totally belittled everything that, um, that transgendered people go through. Um, I'm just in the beginning steps of that journey, obviously. I haven't gotten, um, any of the doctors or, um, surgeries, but it's, it's more, and it's even more than just physically changing yourself, it's, um, adapting to a new role in life, which isn't usually that big of a switch, or so I hear, because that's the way you've always wanted it to be, um, and then dealing with, there are so many more issues that you can just totally ignore, which is why this story is something, you know, it is odd that this man would choose to want to be the one to carry the baby. That's kind of peculiar, I'm interested in why. The new story is not about his physical being at all, it's about what was the mentality behind this. Um, or maybe, maybe to most people it was about him physically, because people don't know that transgender people can so totally look male, because he looks male. Um, that's all I really had to say about this, and I'm not trying to be insulting, I'm just trying to um, educate people about these issues and about how sometimes you can be insulting without even realizing that you're being insulting, and I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt and assume that you didn't mean to come off that way, and assume that you're open to having a little bit more um, education and learning about uh, people that are different than you. Thanks for watching!